All right, uh, if you remember my estate sale um, a while ago, I bought a bunch of these boxes thinking they were good project boxes. Not really sure what's inside, but they have uh, some variable resistors and some phono jack inputs and a switch. And uh, so uh, I took screws out and uh, we'll take a look at this one here. And it's um, got some stuff inside. Now I've never seen that many cable ties <laughs> all in one spot. Uh, I think that's a little bit overkill for cable ties. It reminds me of somebody who did lacing and then instead of lacing was given cable ties. And so they did the exact same thing. Every time there was an intersection of wires that split off, they put a cable tie. In between, they put a cable tie. It's like just cable ties everywhere. Kind of crazy. Uh, but there is uh, an active circuit. <laughs> There's one transistor and it's on a socket. <laughs> it shows you how the age of these things. The, the transistor's on a socket. It's great. Um, there's a nice CNK switch, some nice uh, pots. These are nice, uh, I think they're stereo phono jacks. Yeah, they look stereo. That's interesting. And uh, panel mount. And then there's this really weird, oops, really weird gold connector here on the back. Uh, so I'm not sure what system that, that goes into, but I loosened this board. There's, it was two, two screws in the bottom. Let's see. So if we can kind of lever this one out here. Uh, yeah, kind of, there we go. Kind of flip, flip that out of the way. I don't think the lighting's gonna help any, but yeah, there's a socket here on Q1. It's a 1500 series plus. Uh, there's the part number. So there's a transformer. It looks like an audio transformer. And uh, some kind of side tone thing here. So maybe this is an oscillator to inject some type of side tone for recording or something. Sometimes they put markers on uh, old tracks and I don't know. There's a little bridge rectifier here, a couple capacitors, a couple of really nice weird capacitors. Not sure what kind of capacitors those are. Nice big lump uh, mica here. And then this cool transistor on a socket. Let's see if we can pull it out. Uh, let's see, where's my, I think that's a socket, not just a standoff. Maybe it's just a stand, maybe it's just a standoff. I thought it was a socket, but no, nah, it's just a standoff. It's just the way it was done back then. Yeah. Let's see if I can bend it over this way so I can read the part. I can read the part number on it. Uh, where is my magnifier? It is a Motorola MPS 3568. Emitter based collector marked gold, gold, uh, gold legs, gold plated legs. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, that's, uh, that is what's inside. Single sided board. Little stickers here too. VP3. Maybe the vice president te tested it at the company. <laughs> VP. I don't know. Something production. Uh, here's the back. Pretty cruddy PC board. I could probably trace the circuit out, but then who cares? This is the transformer. Looks like there's ins and outs. That's all the transformer is, just two on one side and two on the other side. So it's probably just a 600 ohm balance transformer or something like that. Anyway, yeah, look at all those cable ties. Love it. <laughs> anyway, I think I'll make a good little project. A uh, nice sized board that'll fit in there. And uh, this one just kind of slides up underneath. There you go. Oh, and in case anybody knows, this one looks to have been used. Maybe it was a return or something, but uh, it says uh, Eastern, Eastern Video. Can you read that? Probably won't focus on it. There we go. Get the glare off of it. Eastern Video. I have no idea who that is. 
Um, this is a counter. It's really cool. You can set the number uh, with these little thumb wheels, and then it's got a solenoid in it. And it's a down counter, uh, not an up counter. I've never seen a down counter. I've only seen up counters. So you can set a number, and then it counts down. Um, and then there's a switch, so you can have it time something, I guess. So it's number of cycles, right? How many cycles the AC has gone on. Of. It runs 110 AC. But uh, it's kind of cool that in the uh, wrapped in the package was a note. Uh, Chuck Colby, here is the four-digit predetermined counter I said I'd send to you. Good luck. So Tony Bolich from Durant. Okay, and then also included was uh, instructions on how to how to make it go, but it's pretty trivial. <laughs> um, so let's uh, let me rearrange the camera a bit. All right, so let's count down. Two hundred thirty is too big, so let's uh, change the number here. Uh, let's say ten. We'll count down from ten. Let me turn, cycle the AC. Nine, eight. I'm just turning the switch on enough. Five, four, and there we go. I had a uh, continuity checker hooked up <laughs> to the switch. There's a a switch that's a single pull double throw, um, and when it hits zero, it makes contact. So cute little. Uh, Cute little device. I haven't seen one before. That is the model 4Y41508 PME true subtracting counter. You don't want one of those false subtracting counters. No, no, no.